in Ukrainian defense uh, industries have activated their work on overhaul of the uh, uh, weapon machinery for ATO. Uh, by the moment of ceasefire beginning, they revived 67 uh, uh, armored vehicles, including 30 tanks, uh, 20 APCs, and nine artillery systems. Uh, also, they revived three um, um, armed helicopters, the Mi-24P. Uh, despite the ceasefire in, in Donetsk, uh, uh, the um, uh, um, militants continue shelling uh, aimed at destabilizing situation and ruining infrastructure. Thus, they have uh, switched electricity to the Donetsk radio TV tower. Uh, the ter uh, LNR terrorists started to compile lists uh, uh, of the objects of infrastructure that had to be ruined and that suffered from their Challenge in order to manipulate with this information um, in line with uh, item 15 of the uh, presidential peace plan, uh, the uh, overhaul and revival of important infrastructure objects in Mariinsky uh, district uh, in Galicinovka, Karlova, and uh, humanitarian uh, cargoes uh, were uh, supplied and distributed at the level of oh, 110 tons in Volnovaisky, Mariinsky, Veliko, Novoselitsky districts, and uh, it was spread in the schools, kindergartens. The special operation was undertaken by the counterintelligence service of Ukraine, and uh, they have discovered a uh, subversary group which planned terror terrorist attacks and uh, subversive acts in Mariupol. The leader of this group, uh, who is called Greg, uh, was arrested to citizens of Ukraine uh, who, re who are residents of Mariupol. The group leader was involved in Donetsk by Russian special services for subversive activities in Donetsk Oblast. Also, the special service of Ukraine stated that he uh, led his activities in Nova Azovsk and instructed uh, other people uh, uh, and received $3,000. Also, the um, a set of uh, small arms was uh, seized when arresting this group. So in Sverdlovsky and Antracitivsky districts in Luhansk Oblast, uh, the uh, militants have organized illegal production of coal. The uh, uh, preliminary calculations of Ukrainian government prove that the damage is at the level of 12 billion hryvnia. Uh, and uh, because of subversive acts and shelling, uh, 4.5 uh, thousand residential buildings are ruined, 4.7 uh, of uh, heating systems are ruined, uh, and other buildings, health care facilities, and industrial objects. In Snizhnomo, uh, DNR leaders try to um, uh, involve so-called Inakivsky criminal group to the leadership in the region. The Denner uh, terrorists have strengthened us pressure uh, on mass media in the Netsk region, and uh, they plan to uh, organize dissemination of Russian uh, media and uh, printed uh, publications. Ukr Telecom experts uh, managed to revive uh, uh, 
inter, uh, intercity connections in Svata Volesichansk Rubizhna Luhanska uh, Oblast. The uh, life uh, savers in Zhitomir Oblast uh, support those citizens who are temporarily evacuated from occupied uh, territories in hostage area. They try to resolve their problems and organize psychological and humanitarian support. Today, we, uh, the uh, neutralization of the explosive ordinance has been continued by the state service on emergency situations. The, uh, the service um, experts uh, has neutralized uh, explosive ordinance at 5.5 hectares of territory and uh, neutralized 86 uh, uh, um, items of explosive ordinance and uh, the terrorists continue to kidnap uh, teachers and uh, professors and, uh, who reject to cooperate with them. Thus, in Lugansk, they kidnapped two prorectors of Lugansk National University, um, uh, and uh, uh, the university itself is evacuated to Starobilsk. Also, the militants uh, force uh, uh, school teachers to cooperate with them. Yesterday, the servicemen of National Guards who are uh, ATO participants have uh, attended schools and described the situation and shared their experience. Um, re response of international community, the head of the uh, uh, National uh, gathering of uh, Turkey, Mr. Cemil Chichuk expressed that uh, Turkey will never recognize Russian annexation of Crimea. Hammond recalled this fa fact as uh, the uh, uh, extreme uh, violation of international legislation and supported the territorial uh, integrity of Ukraine. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland, Mr. Radoslav Sikorsky, has stated that if uh, your European Union reaction on Crimean annexation would be more uh, resolutive, uh, that uh, maybe the conflict in Donbass would stay. Uh, uh, as far as we know, today there will be the National Security and Defense Council meeting um, today. And uh, do you know what are the agenda, what decisions could be made? I'm not uh, uh, familiar with the, the agenda and uh, cannot assume what what decisions will be made. As soon as the, uh, the decisions are made, we will immediately uh, publicize them. Uh, uh, will you please explain what does that sign on your map means? This line, uh, this is the line which shows the border where fire, the, where enemies fire uh, reaches. Uh, uh, so this is actually the line where Ukrainian uh, servicemen may stay. Yes. Could you provide any information about uh, uh, liberated hostages? Uh, mm, because the information is very controversial. Uh, you know that uh, hostages are liberated gradually, not just uh, um, in the big groups, but in the small groups. This happens without any preliminary schedule. It, uh, uh, it happens gradually and uh, uh, unexpectedly to broad public. Uh, quite often, it happens that uh, uh, terrorists change uh, the previous conditions which they had put forward the day before, and uh, um, we do not disseminate any information in advance of any liberation of hostages. We release information only on the actual uh, um, 
release of uh, hostages. In the morning, I provided official information that during the last day, 57 hostages were released and they came back home. Uh, now we provide them with medical assistance, with psychological support, and provide them with necessary uh, vacation and uh, holiday. Actually, we um, uh, use any opportunity to liberate hostages, not looking at the fact who they are, whether they are servicemen or they are civil people. We liberate everybody whom we manage to liberate. Uh, uh, do you have the uh, uh, lists of preliminary hostages? No. Unfortunately, we do not have the list of prelimin uh, preliminary lists of hostages, and the terrorists do not have them. They make them uh, ad hoc, and immediately they make the new list. We try to um, liberate people, and uh, uh, they, uh, but all the time they try to get as uh, much benefit as possible from each uh, exchange procedure. Um, and uh, you do not know the exact number of people who are uh, kidnapped or detained or uh, 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 we do not know because there are some people uh, who are detained or who disappeared and we do not know uh, what happened to those people and uh, terrorists do not say what happened to these people. Uh, and actually, our negotiators, uh, they work uh, uh, very intensively. Our um, officers, negotiators, they uh, um, all the time participate in the meetings with our hostages. They make lists and uh, do efforts to release them. Uh, my question, uh, I have seen uh, much information in foreign media that Ukrainian uh, servicemen uh, shell the residential districts, and uh, there are many residential districts, not only just ruined, but uh, uh, there are huge numbers of wounded population. You know that uh, when we uh, respond to shelling of our ter uh, uh, of our enemies, that is, when we respond to a shelling organized by terrorists, we cannot shell in direction of residential districts, and. Uh, mm, Usually, when terrorists start their attack, um, they, uh, they do this in the field, not in a residential district, and there is no sense to start shelling in a direction of residential district uh, because there is no terrorists in it. Uh, and quite often, the, there's a terrorist who shell the residential district. So uh, the next uh, uh, Official release will be tomorrow at 12.13. Thank you.